Although you weren't here. We're live. I wasn't. You were kicked out. I was kicked out last week. No. Uh, but I'm back. <laughs> One of these days we'll get these camera views correct. All right, we're trying something different. Different camera view. We'll see. <coughs> All right. Well, welcome to um oh shit. Bourbon Bur and balls. Yeah. Well bourbon brawl. Yes. Well, so we what? are bourbon and balls, not balls, but balls. Yes. And someone told me ask me if we should rename it because you're on here now. No, you should not. You don't get offense, do you? <laughs> Get offended. Get offended. <laughs> I do not. I don't get offended easily. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we are doing. Um, uh, we didn't the... bring the bottles out. Ah, oh, sons of bitches. What the? Get the bottles. They're over by the lights. It's been a night. Uh, we've gone through. I'm at um, Thirty takes. Seventy-five takes for the barbecue. Barbecue. <laughs> BBQ. BBQ. Yeah. The quickie. Which, um, by the way, we did a uh, new riff uh, blind. And it was good. People can see the pretzels, don't they? They don't need to see the pretzels. No, they don't need rat's ass what the pretzels look like. They don't. So, no, no, it's opposite. It is. Yeah. So this is the finals of the Bourbon Brawl. Um, so in case you're new to Bourbon Brawl or haven't watched it, or, you know what? If you haven't watched those at all, <laughs> don't blame me, but here's what it is. I blame um, you. Huh? I blame them. Did you watch the previous ones before you came on board? Yes. I critiqued you all the time. Do you not remember? I would sit in my office and say, hey, you need to do this, or hey, you need to do that. So you watched this from day one? Yes. Oh, I'll be damned. How about you? Yes, sir. I don't know if I watched this in, since day one. I would tell you to switch shirts, because you were doing Oh, yeah, we were shirt. Yeah, it looks like all we did was slept in our shirts all day long. <laughs> See, there's several of them that went by. Yeah. You guys the wore same the same outfits. shirts. <laughs> yes, I know. Well, we will record like two, three episodes right, yeah. a night. So, but anyway, so uh, hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll get a new um, setup. Yes. So we shall see. Yes. So I'm um, still texting people telling them to watch. So I'm not being. Uh... Hi, Gandy. Oh, Christine Shaw. Hi, Chrissy and Matt. All right. Sorry, but I made it for this. What? The final. To the final. <laughs> oh, so she wasn't here on the regular. Yeah, she was so on the regular. Ones. So basically, what we've been doing uh, these last few weeks, and actually since September of last year. We would do bourbon brawls, and Bob and I would qualify it by um, you take one bottle and you versus something else, whatever we have in here in the uh, um, basement bourbon or whatever you call it. Anyways, um, and then we just, you know, blind it and all that kind of stuff. So in order to become a qualifier, you'd have to win four weeks in a row. So we would do that. And then um, what we've done was we've taken those four bottles-ish. There was one that made three weeks in a row. I think it was Rare Breed. Um, so we did a, uh, we did a tournament style champion thing, uh, just like we did, uh, just like March Madness is, mm -hmm. uh, and now we're down to the finals and it's almost like a David and Goliath kind of thing, uh, because it's an unknown bourbon of Magnolia and this, and this show is a big fan of Magnolia. Big yes. fan. Yes. And I would, I would, uh, dare somebody to sit there and say there's too many more bourbons. For that price tag, it's like $55. You can buy it at your local liquor store. Yeah. Um, but it's it's very good. And so this is like the unknown. And everybody knows what this is. It's Elijah Craig um, Barrel Proof. Um, now, What's looking back. Huh? What's the number on that? B521. Now, because C923, by the way, was the most popular one lately. Um, like so Star Wars episode. That's C3PO. I understand that. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So anyway, C923. Oh, shit. B5221. Right. Uh, we did not have C923 at the time that we did this taping last year. So to be fair, we kept with the same batch. However, I, what I don't think we're going to do anymore is this is like semi-allocated. Yeah. It's, it's hard to find. You can't get it. The barrel. Oh, part. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and that's not what we want to do. We want to basically let people what shelf our bourbons are. Right. And I think our next series of uh, bourbon brawl, we are going to Break it down in price categories, like the best twenty dollar one. Hold on to your seats on that one, because uh, you know, like you know what's coming. Evan Williams. Yeah, she hates Evan Williams. Oh man! But one night I didn't. Oh yeah, it did very well. <laughs> yeah. So um, and then we'll have like thirty dollar, forty dollars, and so forth. That way we'll kind of group them up, uh, shelf for us and all that kind well, of stuff. Well, that's you know, more you my in, price tag. You yes. get into the benchmarks. You get yes. into the Rebel One Hundred. <clears throat> you know, I mean, even a mellow corn. Yeah. I've never had no really? what the hell Ooh. we're talking about. Oh, so, wow. to you newbies, bourbons. She's a wine drinker and a beer drinker. Oh, really? What's your favorite wine and beer? I want to know. Yeah. 
You can so, put it on the screen. Enough. You don't have to text me. Um, also, just I want to give them a shout out because Chrissy and Matt Shaw live down on Hockey Hills. We went, uh, all went to high school together. Down, you mean out? In the Hockey Hills. Over. Uh, over. Yeah. And they own Hockey Hills Tiny Houses. So, oh. and they are beautiful homes. So like BR, like B, BR, like, yeah, BRBO, okay. Airbnb, all that okay. good stuff. So, give them a shout or give them a, a looky and a like on Facebook and Instagram and uh, book with them if you're going to go stay in the Hockey Hills. They're so awesome. She says, like, like bourbon. My best suggestion is a Magnolia. Honestly. Yes. It's a very easy, easy introductory bourbon, but it is delicious. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Uh, it's a song. <clears throat> it is. Yes. It is. I think you would like it, Christine. Yeah. So it's this is the barrel proof strength, by the way. There's three different types. There's a rye, uh, a regular one, which it comes in like a 90. Right. Um, this is the barrel strength to me, at least for me, the barrel strength, uh, it brings out more flavors. So that's why that's why we, we chose this one. But this is easy to find. This unfortunately is not. Uh, real quick before we get into this, Columbus, uh, yes, Columbus. Um, can you get that around Logan? You should be able to get that in your uh, liquor stores. Yeah, talk yeah. to talk to um. Lisa Hostler, I bet they can get it in at the Kroger liquor store. Yeah. Well, and if you don't find it on a shelf, ask for it because a lot of times they'll just keep that in the back. Because mm -hmm. uh, I've okay. had to ask for it and that's where it's been. Uh, before we get into the uh, final countdown of the blind, uh, you had your phone on you. You want to go ahead and announce the freaking winner of this <laughs> contest that we had? So me. we had a March right. Madness contest bracket uh, with our viewers and all that kind of stuff. So uh, the um, that's a good lead in because the uh, winner gets a free Magnolia bottle shipped to them. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, you know, we'll pay for all that. But uh, what do we have as a winner? Uh, hold on. I know who we don't have as a winner is me. And me. I was the very last. I was 15th. And then you accused me of not filling on my brackets, and I did. I, well, I didn't accuse you. I just felt bad that that's, <laughs> you did that poorly, he said, and you he, filled out a bracket. He said, man, you didn't fill out your bracket. <laughs> yes, I did. That's how bad I did. I, don't, I didn't know. Well, Elton, if you're watching, you didn't fill out one at all. So. Uh, Why can't at least I get to my brackets? Do you have an app? You just went up. Yep, I just had it. I did, there. but it wouldn't take me to my. No. Oh. It's not like the first time I've ever used a phone or an app. Yeah, I've got it, it sounds right like here. it is. I got it right here. Do -do -do. So, all right. First place went to, I have it right here. We know who it went to. Uh, it went, went to, to oh, uh, Mr. Bukowski again. Matt. Matt. Matt won. What did he win the taste of that one time? Yeah, he won, I think, a George T. Stag. That, is that, was that it, maybe? 22. Yeah, yeah. Super Bowl. So. No, no, that was making. We just did. I think that was our <laughs> first one by one point. That was me and Bob's first giveaway, yeah. and we just did it for the heck of it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, was it a T sack? Yeah, the like, yeah, the like or comment on that. So yeah, something, something like yeah. that. So, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, see, he won. He won that. But he did very he did well. Like liking and subscribing. Somehow he says, he got, "You're Matt." He got ninety-eight percent of the picks. I don't know if that's even right. I don't. I don't know how to read it. But then again, it says I only had twelve percent of the picks, so because therefore that. That is probably right. That is probably right. Because in the women's, I got 96%, and I finished third place. So that seems right. Man, I would have done, done much better than the women's. You, no, you wouldn't. Yes, I would have. No, you I only got 12% right. You would have picked Iowa State to go the whole way <sighs> out of love for the team that you just discovered this year, three two months ago. I, I can be a bandwagon <laughs> if I want. You, you, absolutely. That doesn't mean you're going to do well. <laughs> oh, that's, that's right. Because they did not. <laughs> they went to the Sweet 16. Okay. Yes, it's live. Quit texting me because I'm trying to talk. <laughs> so, anyhow, um, I pulled a look. Yes, you did, Gandy. You were up there at the very beginning, and you fell like the rest of us, and you <laughs> fell hard. Uh, where did Gandy uh, reach at? Let's see. He ended up. Uh... Oh, man. you got to scroll, so I'm not going to look out. But... My sister's watching. Um, you need to subscribe because I don't see you. Uh, same with Tracy. You need to subscribe. We need to hit a thousand viewers. Yeah, we're almost there. We're about sixty short. And when we do, we get new bells and whistles to Gandy our channel. So, is... um, but anyways, um, Gandy, you can probably tell us where you're at. But anyways, that being said, uh, I don't see Gandy's name. Oh, he's down. I think he's way down there. Yes. So we're down at the bottom. There's uh, Charlie. Yeah, at the very bottom. Twelve point six. Oh, twelve point nine. I don't want. I don't want. Twelve point nine percent. Yeah. 
Cool. Can I see that? Yeah. I don't okay. see Gandy. All right. Gandy did it. He did. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Gandy Road. He was 10th. Oh, oh that's he, actually not bad. No. You did better than Bob and Beth. Oh, okay. There it is. Yeah. yeah. So, you did you anyway. Anyway. All right. Well, we're going to do the finals of this. Um, Magnolia versus Elijah Craig or Elijah Craig. Which one's the home team? The home team probably be Elijah Craig. That's gonna be the favorite. All right, so it is Magnolia versus Elijah Craig. Yeah, just because that's well known. That's 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 been around for a while. And... But this thing's been battle tested. It has battle tested and proven. This is a uh, hundred eighteen proof to ninety. Is that what this one is? No, this is barrel strength, dude. With the barrel strength. One? Yeah, this is uh one twenty five. Whoa, okay. I'm at. So anyways. all right, let's just get into it. Here. All right, yes. All right. And then after this, we're going to do a, uh, another bottle open. There's a few of the fruit to choose from. You guys opened the Bardstown last week, and I didn't get to taste it. It was okay. Hey, what? Not as good as the, what, the eight? You wouldn't know if you watched the show. Just um, I did watch the show. I already called you out because you said I got kicked off. Oh, yeah, that's right. But she didn't finish the show. Because we didn't <laughs> yeah. And I got kicked off. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> she, yeah, you kicked out of it afterwards. Yeah. So, anyway. So, uh, we might open up the... Um, 13 Augusta of Buckner's. Y'all motherfuckers need to stop Ooh. texting me. So I, don't I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll open something up tonight. All right. Ooh, this is good. Yeah. I think I know which one this is. Don't. You do not. Yeah, I oh, I guess you got a 50 50 chance. Punch you in the face. Do it. We're live. <laughs> You're really kicked back. The way I, <laughs> I got a bunch of witnesses. They're all my friends. They didn't see anything. <laughs> Gandy's oh, the only one that's gonna say he saw anything. That's funny. That's funny. Um, she said those glasses are cute. <laughs> These are Glen Karen glasses, and they <laughs> they are specific for bourbon. Yes. You need to go on to uh, uh, Amazon and order a bunch of these. Yes. So the reason why we use these glasses is because this is the best way to nose it and to taste it. Um, and we do we kind of swirl it. You can see the legs on it. Um, honestly, this is the best way to get the aroma out of it, quite honestly. Um, if you get like a rocks glass, uh, you're really not going to get, you can't even smell it. No, no. Uh, I mean, it, it all tastes the same, of course. It's like, it's like drinking wine out of the right glass. You know, you're going to use. Man, I don't know how that works. But I know. Yes, you're but right. it's the same concept. Beer is, there, is are, the same okay, way. I have and... a question. Is there, is there a glass for red and white? Yes. yes. Oh. There's a stem and stemless. I have to have a stem. I don't like the stemless. Unless I'm outside them. drinking and I'm afraid <laughs> I see some people it. do. They have Glen Karens that are with stem. Really? Yeah, those are, uh, those are uh, like what called scotch. Oh, it's just, yeah. Oh, and, and, oh, and yep. Yeah, you're right. All right. Well, anyways, this is these cute little glasses are Glen, Glen Karen glasses, but uh, yeah, it's easy to nose. Which, by the way, the nose is really good on this one. The nose is very good on that. Ooh. The humdinger. Humdinger. So this is why I like. I like the heat because there's a lot of flavor. Can you think you know what it is? I do. Mm, yeah. You have to hit for these shots. So she's Look, right. I'm going to write on the back what I. I think know, this but one if she's is. right. It's not because she was right. It's because she had a 50-50 shot. Because I was right. No, I don't. Why do you take that from me? Why is that? Because you don't know which one it is. Correct. And you should, because you're the one that set it up, but you forgot already. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. So we usually have someone do our, our blinds for us, um, but she's not here right now. I love that you say somebody, because it's your wife. It is. <laughs> well, because it gives her a lot of credit. It does, and yeah. you just took it all away. You're right. So, no, she does do the blinds for us, and I am greatly appreciative, but she's on vacation. So that leads me to do the blinds, which is still the same, because I, I poured these about an hour ago, and quite frankly, I don't remember what's what. Uh, the reason how we're going to remember it is because I put something at the very bottom of the uh, glasses to indicate what is what. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I forget which one's which. Tracy, you can when you come to Ohio, Tracy, you can come and do. You can be on TV. Oh she, my God, this she wants nose. to drink on TV with us. This nose is fabulous. Just, holy, as I say, this is the nose that you could pour on a pillow. You want to cuddle up with it? This is great. There's a big difference. There is a big difference. One's more like flames. Like it's hot. The phoenix rising from the ashes. And this is more like a um snuggle silky. down. It's like a this is silky smooth. 
You just used that because I used the word earlier. Silky smooth? Silky. Oh, you did? I wish I would have known. Oh, we should, should do that. Oh, yeah, we should. Maybe next time we'll, oh. we'll, we'll advertise ahead of time. Maybe like two weeks, give people time to find it. Yeah. And then you guys can drink it with us. That's a great idea. Look so, at that. She gave us a show idea. So thank you, Chrissy. So just so you guys, or Matt, whoever, which one typed that in. So just so you guys know that are new, um, we are usually live every Monday at 8 o'clock. But because the NCAA was on last night. <clears throat> and I me, wanted to watch the game, and quite frankly. <clears throat> I was drinking after the eclipse. <laughs> yes. Quite frankly. The eclipse was like, all right, five hours before. I go to bed early when I drink. At any rate, um, good lord! Every Monday at eight o'clock, we're live. So we will advertise next time um, what we're going to drink in a couple weeks, and that way you guys can grab a bottle of it somewhere and drink with us. Bees. I haven't tasted it yet, but I'm, the 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 nose on it is wonderful. It's ready. It's pretty. It's cute, like these glasses. Oh man, this is great. I'm 100 percent sure. So am I. Well, oh, you're 100 percent sure. What's what? Yeah. So I think I know. But it. I'm not going to bet you. No. Charlie owes uh, Bob and I dinner from the NCAA. If you notice on the show, I've lost every bet. Doesn't I don't mean? know why he keeps betting, but I'm glad that he does. I lost my hair. <laughs> you lost your I lost hair. Lost a bottle of bourbon, which I still don't know. I bought two extra bottles. I'm just saying. You can take one home, no one with you tonight. Might as well just leave it here. All right, I'll drink it. <laughs> you will not. <clears throat> uh, Jeff, do you have a guess on which is which? I think A is Magnolia. I think B is Magnolia. I think B is Magnolia. See, I wrote EJ on this one. Yeah, you did. Oh, EJ. He yeah. likes Craig. I don't know who EJ is. I think he said EJ. <laughs> Unless my glasses are switched. <clears throat> I mean, did I go to school? Okay. I don't know what B is, but to me, B is much better than A. I me. agree. I, it is better. Um, Jeffrey? I, I, my feelings no. will be hurt I, if it's not. <clears throat> <annoying. laughs> my A was a lot better. I mean, by five points. No. Shit. I, you, may shit. Be, you may be the reason why we do this. Uh, the difference. <clears throat> I, was hoping, I hope my glasses weren't switched. <clears throat> Alan, if you're on, thank you. Well, you know what? Well, you well, know well, how well, well, Because the bottom of it. Well, no, right. Yeah, exactly. Guys, I have 25 texts. Stop texting. <laughs> For love of Pete. <laughs> For the love of, I'm watching. I must have missed. We are, we are live. We are live. All right. We're just going to score. We're going to score. So, I don't know. Tell a joke, whatever. But, tell a joke. You can text usually, now. Usually, when we're taping, we cut this part out. But unfortunately, what about all you Kentucky fans out there? You, uh, they, they don't care. They, they don't care? These aren't <laughs> Kentucky fans. I don't think I don't know. You never know. <clears throat> I think Kentucky's going to reap what they sow. They wanted him out. He left, and yeah. they're going to pay for it for a couple of years. I mean, they'll be fine after that, but they're going to pay for it for a couple of years. Just saying. All right, Chris, you should uh, you should have us come down and do a tasting at one of the um, tiny houses. Think of a joke for Beth. Yes, please think of a joke for Beth. <laughs> We don't have filters here either, so how about oh, it? You know what, MFR? What MFR? My, my two are five points apart too. So mm -hmm. it's gonna be up to her then. Because you're five points one way, I'm five points the other way. Maybe. We might be the same. My glasses might one of our glasses might be switched, never know. Well, I didn't mark them, I just marked them by color. I, I marked on the back. Do you so remember we, we, what color? Yes, Mofo. <laughs> you you can't remember an hour ago which a one's is, which. A is pink. What? Oh! <laughs> I told you. My glasses were switched. So, so you're in with me. That's this is pink. Oh shit! Your your ass backwards. Did you like B better? I did like B better. Right. Oh shit! I'm the you one that's backwards. Char you can't trust Charlie to do shit. <laughs> I hate when I handed it to you guys. I said, "Hey, did I not do exactly yeah, what you did? Yeah, we did?" He gave me. I took the, out of his right hand and put it on A. Out of his left hand, put it on B. It, it doesn't matter. You you got the colors by the glass, right? 
by what That's part? Of yeah, it. yeah. So it doesn't, so really it doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. So my, but, but while we we're opinionating things, we were. So I'm wrong. <sighs> That's what he's just. All right. All right. Stop fighting. This is what we do. Charlie's actually my supervisor. <laughs> for those who are new and don't know. All right. Go ahead. All right. I don't know. We're in trouble here. All right. It's pink. 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 All right. Here. Yeah. That was my right. eight. Pink, I got 82. What'd you get? I got 81. I got 84.2. Um, Bob, what's Bob saying? Quit fucking up my show. No, that's, that's, <laughs> hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bob, we kicked you out, too. <laughs> All right. All right. Say it again. Uh, B or A, I put 83.2. So purple, I guess it is. Purple? No. What'd you do for pink? I already said it. 84.2. What'd you say? 81. For pink? pink? Yeah. Yes. Jesus uh, Christ. Purple. 83.2. 86. Oh, shit, I gotta add this up. You wanna add this up for me? Shane, see what happens... When the wife yeah, out. that's what I'm saying. You're yeah. exactly right. It's all screwed yeah. up, Eric. Okay. on vacation now. <clears throat> what do you got here? Um, turn it how, Daniel? Hopefully, eighty-two point five. Okay, eighty-two point five, eighty-four point two, and eighty-one. What do you got? Did that help? Hopefully, two forty-seven point seven. Okay, you ready for the next one? Yep. Eighty-seven point two five. Okay. 83.25. Oh, 87.25. Yeah. Plus 83.25. Okay. 86. 256.5. That was a purple, right? So purple wins. No. Why not? Because that's not what the one I wanted to win. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Magnolia. Nope. Purple is Eliza Craig Barefoot. The good news is I picked pink. <laughs> Which is Magnolia. Huh. Well, I picked. You picked Elijah, Elijah Craig. Craig. So did you. Yes, I did. Mm. And I will say again, I was right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not because uh, I had a 50 50 chance. <laughs> oh, Christ. Charlie loves me. I'm his favorite. Mm. So what was your A? Was your A purple or pink? Purple. My A was purple. Yours was backwards. <laughs> you you messed it up. <clears throat> well, we got we it right. Had it, we had it right yeah, when, we when it. you were handing things. Wait, what did you choose, Beth? I chose Magnolia, but it came in second overall. But you know what? Think about this for just for a moment. Yes. What Magnolia, what we put through blinds on Magnolia. Oh, it, so this is a Columbus, for those of you new, this is a Columbus-based uh, uh, distillery. Um, and we had it one night at one of Charlie's blinds six months ago, yeah, something yeah, like that. And yeah. it came in first out of 12. 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 Yeah, yeah. Like nobody even, none of us had even heard of this. Right. right. Um, but I liked it so much. I went and bought a bottle of this. Yes, yeah. too. Um, and then we put it through a four bottle blind, best of Ohio blind. Mm -hmm. It won that. And then we put it through four rounds of bourbon brawl. It won that. And then it won three or two rounds of the tournament and got to the finals. And I got two bottles at so, Christmas. I mean, Thanks, and it came it's a great bottle. To an it is. Bottle. But it's and uh, this is a shelf. Room. Yeah. So, despite, uh, so uh, Christine may not know what an allocated bottle means. Sure not. Allocated means you cannot find it on the shelf. You have to get it through. I mean, they do that with wines, though. Standard yes, wine. you may. People you know. Uh, batch four, by the way. Yeah, this is batch four. Yes. Um, and we've had batch two, and we've had I've had a taste of batch one, courtesy of Gand is it Gandy? Yeah, he gave yeah. batch one. Yeah, we had got batch one, and it was I uh, it just was a taste. It was very good. Um, yeah, you and Bob drank it all before I got it, so thank you very much. It's what happens? <laughs> uh, no, what's great about the Magnolia um, is it, it does the things that you want a bourbon to do. Uh, your vanilla caramels and I'm gonna drink uh, that you get out of it. Um, <laughs> granted, it's, it's barrel strength, like which is pretty hot. Um, but once you get through all that, especially a novice drinker, you probably want to 
um, going a little bit slow. You may want to get the regular one. I haven't had it. They have a 90 proofer. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but 126 is, is pretty high up there. But once you get, you know, drinking for a while, uh, it's actually it's actually pretty good. So what do we like about Magnolia? Um, one, um, it is very easy for novice drinkers. So it is smooth. It's got a lot of, to me, a lot of hints of caramel and vanilla, which is a traditional bourbon um, combination. Uh, there's not a lot of heat, even though it's a higher higher proof. Um, what is this proof again? What did we say? 126. 126. Um, so you you're going to expect it to be hot at, on the on the finish, but it's not. Um, it so it's it don't drink like it's proof. Andy it, says it's going to be restocked in Ohio. It's almost not, well, no shit because we bought it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Where was the last place you, you bought it? Uh, the wine list oh, wait, has like two more bottles left. I was thinking of Barrel because you they got like six Barrel down in. Uh, they're uh, down to two now in Tylersville. So the other one that we really like that's really good for novice uh, introductory bourbons that are higher proof. But um, so this goes for about fifty five, sixty five dollars a bottle. Yes. And then Barrel, who has various um, how you say how you say uh, finishes. Finishes. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've had 33, 34, and 35. Um, 34 was not my favorite. And they also have like a seagrass variation. Variance. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. But I like the, the batch numbers better than the batch names. So Barrel has the 30, like I said, 33, 34, and 35. 33 and 35 are my favorites. I do have some 34 left, but I have two unopened bottles, one of 35 and one of 33 that. I just absolutely love. So if you can get a hold of that too, and it's ninety five dollars, it's a little ninety five ninety bucks. It's yeah. a little up there, but it's to me, it's worth it. It's very good. So that's what we like about. You know it. what? Um, Bob and I did a um, top five bourbons of all time that we liked. I wouldn't mind do a top five bourbons blinded and see which ones of our top five we want to rank. Top five of the ones you picked. Blind of top five. Yeah. Well, maybe get a consensus for the show. Right. So yeah. I think consensus in our top five. I think we would agree on two or three of them at least. You know what I'm saying? Right. The Heaven Hill 17, George C. Stack 22. I think those two would be in it. How red my face is. That's the camera. <laughs> mm -mm. That's my. That's the bourbon. That's the bourbon. Oh, That's yeah. The, Irish the, uh, the 90 proof bottle of this is only for 40 bucks. Oh, oh, for, for $15 more. Oh yeah, yeah. If you could, if you could find this one, this one probably a little bit harder to find than the the <clears throat> ninety proofer. Yeah, but but batch one, four, and two are delicious. I don't yes. know anything about any other ones, but one, three, and four. I'm sorry, <clears throat> one, two, and four, definitely. All right. Well, that's the. Uh, now we're gonna drink something else. Yeah, let's clear these bottles out, and we're gonna do a. We always do like a special bottle review. Uh, like this. So, I mean, last week we did uh, that stag ride burr ride. Mm. <laughs> or that stag burr ride. Bob didn't like it. He didn't like it. I can't believe Which it. Which I'm surprised because he loves a good ride. Man, that was very good. Uh, we, we are going to try. Let's do the Buckner's 13 year and I'll give a little story behind it. Now, again, I guess people are going to be like, what the fuck, Charlie? Oh, you're, those uh, are on the table. We're trying something that's allocated again. And I'm glasses. sorry. But here's the deal. I've been wanting this bottle for a while. So, and now's the reason why to open it. Shit, so, two years ago, every year, there is a uh, tasting of, are we out of glasses? Just grab the black ones. What's in those down there? Those are dirty. Oh, no, no, no. There's all kinds of glasses right there. Underneath the uh, counter. Over here. Well, move the damn dog. Over here. <laughs> Yeah, I should see this though. By the way, Chrissy, thanks. I'm wearing your uh, birthday shirt from two years ago. Underneath, at the very bottom, the wall cabinet. Or those, that's fine. What's this channel called? It's uh, YouTube. It's YouTube. What's this channel called? They're on it. You're all, yeah, it's Bourbon and Balls, B A L L Z. Yeah, and we can't do S because of the recipe. So, and, anyways, going back to this, is this bottle. I said, by the way, this is Augusta. Uh, Buckner single barrel 13 year. Um, it's allocated, and I say that because you can't find it. Uh, they don't make it anymore. It was a year, it was a release two years ago, I think. Charlie does a lot of uh, hunting. We'll call it that, sure. Well, you call it trading. Yeah, I do a lot of trading. I do. I trade a lot. I'm gonna trade again. Uh, 
What am I getting a couple of different? Shit, I forget. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, so nice to forget. <laughs> well, I said I even told you earlier I was getting it. Yeah. What was it you said? See what I'm saying? <laughs> Some good bottles in <clears throat> Ohio Lottery Week. So. Oh yes. Oh, if you live yeah. in Ohio right now, mm -hmm. make sure you guys go on OHLQ and sign up for the uh, bourbon giveaway. Oh, yeah. Yes. Remember when I borrowed your driver's license? You gotta have some deep pockets though, if you want. Remember that. way back when? Why would you say that on like a live? Well, no one cares. You don't, know, you don't know who my friends are, what they do for a living. Oh, please. Uh, so yeah, so uh, <laughs> sign up for that. There's some great bottles in that. Um, I won one two years ago. Did I you? got that Elmer T Lee for thirty five bucks. But it wasn't with oh. my driver's license. <laughs> no, it was my own driver's license. <laughs> um, but um, let's see here. So it's OHLQ. It sounded like he said OQ, just FYI. Um, yeah, OHLQ. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting the Lucky 7 14 year right. proprietor. Yeah. Uh, for you bourbon nerds out there, you know what I'm talking about. They're, that's a good that's a great bourbon. I'll yeah. bring it to Girls Trip. If I get to come, I don't know yet. Um, but if I get to come, it's Pennsylvania, so I should be able to. Going back to what I was saying, um, that, well, I'm saying, uh, every year there is a like a Super Bowl of awards for bourbon of the year. These people. It's looked upon this specific festival or whatever you want to call it right. as the pinnacle of bourbon of the year voters. Mm -hmm. So it's in, held in San Francisco. It's the whiskey festival. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Whiskey yeah. festival. Uh, this won the bourbon of the year two years ago, mm -hmm. uh, which is odd. It beat out all the bourbons. Right. Everything. And everything. And um, this is out of Kentucky, out of northern Kentucky, uh, Augusta Distillery. Um Buckner's. Uh, this is a 13-year single barrel. I never. I had the um, eight-year. I have not had. I'm any. afraid it's gonna suck because it won, you know, bourbon of the year, and everybody loved it. And it's like, yeah, I know. you guys hype shit, and then it's all of a sudden you uh, taste it, and you're like, oh yeah, god, that's awful. Ass. Yeah, so it all hype. Tastes like that. Field of Dreams. Yeah. <laughs> God, that was so bad. The glass of nightmares, really, is what it was. So I've been I've been looking for this bottle for a few months. What's this bourbon called? It's called uh, uh, Buckner's. Buckner's 13. Now you can buy the eight year and the 10 year. Which one is this? At the store. I've seen them. <clears throat> and like 13. You're bucks. not going to get this. Yeah, you're not going to find this. But it's, it's Buckner's not. eight or 10, you can find on the shelf. Okay. What? Well, they can't see the spilled bourbon. No, I'm doing this like Vanna White. Uh, cook for us. Who? What? Oh my God. Okay, so you know when you talk about the hype, the nose, it's there. The nose is there. <laughs> the nose is there. This is great. Hey Shane, if you're coming to the next bourbon tasting, I'll let you sip this. Good God, this fucking nose is awesome. Jeez. I love it when Charlie gives us stuff we can't ever get again. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> bottle. God, that's almost clear too. Look how what bottle. <laughs> Stag Barai. Oh yeah, we're never gonna drink that again. We're just gonna stare <laughs> at it. I'll, it's, I'll never. It's never. It's a one-time run. I mean, yeah. here's the thing. Charlie gave me the code to his house, <laughs> and we're gonna be here. And I know when he's yeah. I know when he's gone. <laughs> oh, this is. Man, that nose is good. I guess Beth is going on then. <sighs> Why would? Oh, that's not bad at all. You know what's great about this? It's free to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What's great about this? I'm drinking a $130 you know what's bottle great about of bourbon. It has a burn, but then it dies off and the does. flavor stays. It yeah. stays, yeah. Which is weird. because it, it, I mean, it really coats the palate and just yeah. kind of... I haven't had a bourbon do that for a while. That's I get really burns, good. the burns go away, but the flavor is still there and it's still going. That's a great bourbon. I'm sorry, but I can see why this one. Good lord. This That's is... really good. I'm sorry y'all can't get it. I'm sorry, Tar yeah. Charlie's a tease. Here we go. Cheers. For you. Who uh, want oh okay. Not live on YouTube. What are you talking about? They want me to cook for him. Oh. This is great. Man, this is very good. It burns, but it goes. It's only it's 123.4 proof. But so, all, all the proof is in the middle. 
Right. It is. And that's what I was going to say to Christine. So the Magnolia is 126. And ooh, did you hear that? Yeah. You don't hear it. You don't feel it um, on that. But you do feel it on this. It's not a bad way. Ooh, don't die. Our insurance doesn't live. cover that. It's <laughs> live on television. You know what? That probably increased the views. <laughs> it might. I'm not getting <clears throat> off the mouth. I like you, Jeff, but it's not happening. Ooh. Not the reason I might. <laughs> I'm kidding. And we go back to the one night. A lot of kidding. <laughs> I'm really red now. Yeah. yeah. This is a very good bourbon. I'm sorry. Very, I'm sorry good. to. It's very good. Good God. But, if anybody has this, I don't know if you do. Gandhi might. Um, I don't know if Shane does. Um, but, but, I mean, it's good, but I, I don't. I don't, I don't know think if it's, it's bad. bourbon of the year, yeah, but it's, it's very good. No. If I had a score, I'd be in the high 80s. Yes. Yeah. And the best it. thing I like about it is the finish is very good where there's no burn. Right. The burn is mostly in the middle, which now, is weird. Were you, not you particularly, but whoever was allocated this originally, I wonder if they were able to get more than one bottle. So can I just say how he got it, which is sadly enough, uh, a buddy of hot, his, who passed away, his wife said, hey, get all these bourbons out of my house. Not out of my house, but... Uh, so he fronted all that money mm. and he said, you know, slowly he'll get rid of it and then give her the money for it. So oh, yeah. he was a collector beyond all collectors. Like he was telling me he's got, he's got everything, but he had, he had quite a few of these, but they said mm. um, they were keeping some behind because it's pretty good. Mm. So but my question point was there may be people out here who are selling, you may be able to get a hold of it. I have never seen it online. Even in the no, little black either. market kind of thing. Where and is this something you can get at the distillery, maybe? They don't have it. They don't make that run anymore. But this was a hundred and some plus, hundred. you said hundred thirty, hundred forty dollars No, the oh, 10 that. year was. Oh, what do you think this runs? Three. Okay. Well, I just said I was drinking a hundred thirty dollars <laughs> bourbon for free. Now I'm drinking a three hundred dollar bourbon yeah, for free. My night has got better. It's all relative. Because, it, it is. It is. You know, a lot of this stuff. It's, it's just all relative. Well, it's a whatever. couple of years ago, I had a bottle of uh, sea smoke from uh, uh, California, and it had won. I think it was sea smoke. It had won wine of the year from 2009, right? And I was in 2013, 2014 at that point. And I paid sixty dollars for it. And when it won, it was going to um, it was going for like nine hundred dollars a bottle. And Karen's like, "Are we gonna sell that?" I'm like, "No, I'm drinking it," <laughs> and it was delicious. You guys should go to the Black Diamond and Shawnee. They have a huge bourbon collection. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. We should. Where's is that? Where your daughter goes to school? Shawnee? Is it like Shawnee State? No, Rebel County. I don't know. That's somewhere else. Are you sure? Do you know it? I don't know. You're just making shit up now. I'm making shit up. Hey, <laughs> by the way, um, next week. Uh, we are doing a special episode. I guess we'll have a live. Might as well. We got nothing else to do tomorrow or Monday night. We'll do a live and then do this show. Yeah, we'll do that. Well, I mean, why not? So we have another YouTube channel coming in uh, next week. Gotcha. Uh, called um, Baker Drinks. They are. I sent them some blinds today. Um, I'll reveal next week what it is. I don't want to tell them now. Um, but um, anyways, it should be a fun. It should be a fun time. <laughs> Where we're going to collaborate uh, with another channel. We'll have them on the Zoom call and, and kind of go like that. But we'll have a live stream beforehand. True. Just kind of shoot the shit and just whatever. I was responding to a text, but responding via that way. Oh. So. Hey, show them the other bottles I got late, lately. That Hainer. Oh, yeah. That Solar Eclipse one. Here's the thing. You know it's a bad bourbon. Could be when it has special shit to it. But watch. It lights up. You know it's a bad bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to add special effects. Um, I wonder if you could replace that battery. But it's LED. It's going to last forever. <gasps> not pull I was just giving it a little touch. Your dog trashed the house the other night. And you worried about me pulling just a little bit yeah. on a bottle just to see if it's going to come off? He turned on the TV earlier. Yeah. It was messed up. So we had that. That's from Troy. It's called Hainer. Troy, Ohio. <clears throat> yes. And then I got another one called Scott's AM yep. Scott's AM Scott's, and that came from recommendation from Jeff. Yes, I don't know I'm trying to get it out of the light because there's a reflection. And Daniel, Daniel was bitching at it earlier. Oh, well, hold it up. Uh, what do you think I'm doing? That's not up. 
There you go. Yeah, they're they're yes. up out of Troy too, and they, they've got. Hey, Mr. Troy. Lopez. Hey, did you catch the results? Uh, you might have just joined in, but uh, Eliza Car Craig barrel proof beat out Magnolia. Barely. Uh, barely for the finals of Champion of Champions because of March Madness of our our uh, bourbon uh, brawl. We're gonna start a new s series uh, next week, but make sure you catch us next week on um, our our show for Baker for Baker Drinks. Um, which, by the way. Uh, uh, Mr. Lopez, that Augusta is really good. I just felt, I just felt the bourbon on me. So. <laughs> you felt, you felt. I did. It moved you. You know when you know when you had that moment <laughs> where like, all right, I had a little bit too much bourbon. Well, we had a blind of four earlier, and then we had this. So yeah, a little bit. You probably haven't eaten dinner either. No, what did I eat? Tracy, it just depends on how long we want to talk. Why are you ready for us? You, you log off. Yeah, or just walk we away, but leave us on because it helps us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, just leave it on like I do for my dog. Yeah. I sit there and leave our channel on during the day so he yeah. hears my voice. Yeah. That and it gives us, you know, publicity. And he's so, out, you right? know, if you guys subscribe and make sure what who drives you home. I don't live that far from Charlie. Yeah. And Charlie's the one who's feeling it right now, not me. Yeah, I'm good. Also, watch a few episodes ago. You'll see somewhere. <laughs> Don't yeah. go back. I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> no, no, it is. It's, not, it is it's not necessary to go backwards. <clears throat> Moving forward here, we're all about forward progress. Yeah, you know what? Another one, good one is um, as far as the best of blinds, it'd be the Koi Hill. Yes. Yeah, I like Koi yeah. Hill. Um, that's so we would agree on those three. Yeah, Heaven Hill too. Yeah, the Heaven Hill seventeen, mm -hmm. and then the George C Stack twenty two. Mm -hmm. That leaves us two left. Did you ever try the 18? Did you ever try that? The Heaven Hill 18? No, um, I actually traded it the other day. Yeah, it's all right. Um, because um, not that I should ever rely on ever, everybody else's views, but there are some viewers out there or some YouTube channels that I have, I, I match up my palettes with. And that's another thing that you guys need to do is like, not just our yeah. channel, watch other channels too. Mm -hmm. But mostly ours. Yes. And, um, you know, follow what they have to do on bourbon reviews. And you know, try your own bourbon. You know, if you match up with their palates, then so be it. And that's what I kind of cling on to. Well, I do that on a couple of people, and they had mixed reviews on on eighteen. They said it's almost like uh, Heaven Hill twenty and, and seventeen combined. Mm -hmm. It's not as pungent. It's not as it's not as uh, viscous. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, for that price of that, I rather sell it. So I did. Yeah. Um. So I never got to try it, but I'm not. You know, but the Heaven Hill seventeen. Uh, to me, is hands down one of the best bourbons I've yeah, ever had. Is, is really good, yeah. Tracy asked, "What, <clears throat> which bourbon makes the best old fashioned?" I would, I would say a higher proof. That's the main thing. Bullet is great. It's cheap. Right. It's like what twenty bucks, twenty five dollars. And I will yeah. tell you, I, as much as I don't like it, <laughs> straight Evan Williams. Oh, yeah. It's it, it makes a good old fashioned, and it's trash to me. Like. I mean, you know, asking these questions, we grew up in Hocking Hills. When we hear Jack Daniels, Wild Turkey, those are, ugh, but it makes a good old fashioned. What's it say? Braylon Weller is a special guest. Well, he's down there. Is he, is he sleeping? Yes. Weller is sleeping, he's and out. we're happy about that. <laughs> he probably ate an air tag. Yeah. <laughs> God, man, that mofo. I'm he's drinking good. Bullet now. Good job. Nice. Right. Right. Hey, hold on. Let's You're see. drinking the Bullet, right? Is it that new uh, malted yeah. rye? Well, no, there's they got a rye, but then is there's the a malt. malt there's not, there's, is it the malted? Is it the malted rye? That's brand new, though. Yeah. It's, it's if a, you are, then I want to know about it because I heard good things about it. I've heard good, yeah. So, Chrissy, uh, you also ask about um, leaving these in the, the – even though we're live, uh, you can watch it again. So you don't have to worry about if you miss this episode. Yeah, this is, ends up being a recorded it, It'll be recorded for – so after we hang up, you can go in and watch it again. But um, – yeah. Yeah, I think we did an episode on um like best beginner bourbons. I forget which episode. I would go back and watch that. It's regular honestly. rye, she thinks. Yeah. I think it's probably the regular rye because the new one just came out. Yeah. And that's well, I don't it's not a rye. That, I think that, it's just a malted barley kind of oh, really? yeah, it's like the single malt. I heard good things about that. Yeah. So I I like the idea of you guys trying to suggest maybe something different that uh I don't want to so what, what rewatch it. <laughs> well, you know, you what was the suggestion she had earlier? Um, that was a good idea I want to use. 
to send out what we're going to drink oh, so they yeah. can drink it with us. Yeah, like a play along. Yeah, I like, I like that idea a lot. Um, mm, yes. And you don't want to rewatch it. So uh, fortunately, you have my number and you can say, text me and say, what did you guys drink again last night? And I can tell you. So you don't have to rewatch or it. Or we could do this. I'm willing to do this. If you don't want to go out and buy it, why don't you do this? Like, I somehow we'd have to set up a Venmo account because as long as I break even, I'm fine. I'd be willing to ship it to you all. Like the whole bottle, or no, yeah, the the freaking blinds. I was the just asking, thing. I don't think you need to get all that's <laughs> what I was asking. Because honestly, <clears throat> let's be honest, our show's not that big, it's it's like it's it's small beyond small, so we can do that's this. why we need more subscribers. We do, we hit a thousand. Subscribe. Honestly, I know you guys don't realize this, but if we hit a thousand, then I can do other things with this show as far as make it more professional looking and things like that. And we're at nine, whatever. So tell um, your friends. Yeah, tell your friends. Tell your spouse. And that's why it's important. <laughs> your adult to, children. <laughs> that's why it's important for them to like this because what it does is once you like it, what you don't understand the algorithm of YouTube is once you start watching other videos, uh, people who watch that video then be connected to your videos that you watched that right. they haven't seen. And by doing that, they'll watch the like videos that you watched. And that's how it gets to them. So it's almost like a uh, ripple effect. So it's a very, very important to like any of our videos. Um, and that's how we get known. In the YouTube community. And Chrissy, I might be able to save on shipping because I think I'm coming home, I think, the 27th. I'd almost want to cap it just because so different shipping. Maybe we can do like up to five or ten people and mm -hmm. then we would ship that thing out. I would be okay with that if you guys want to help out. I got enough bottles. Yeah. As far as not, not sample bottles. Yeah. Um, but as long as you guys – and that we got to come up with the, with the amount of uh, – what it would cost for us to break even. I'm not looking, we're not looking to make a profit. Good God, no. Um, but uh, we'll figure out an amount that would cost us to ship it, including the cost of the bottles and all that kind of stuff, the cost of the bourbon. And then we'll come up with an amount to say, it may be like 20 bucks or something is my guess. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, maybe that'd be the better route to go. That way, you know, you don't have to go out and buy that whole entire bottle because it ends up being cheaper right. for you to pay the 20 <clears throat> bucks than go out and if we do like a blind. Mm -hmm. Right, a blind of four. Mm -hmm. You're not going to go out and buy two hundred dollars worth of bottles because it'll be like fifty dollars a bottle. Right? And you don't like them. Right. So you right. might as well just pay the twenty bucks and do the samples, and then we all kind of do it together. Maybe we'll do that instead. I like that idea. Yeah, yeah I'm, on, I'm on a couple other um, bourbon clubs, I guess you would say, okay. and and that's what it is. If if they do like a blind once a month or something, mm -hmm. it's what like, were they charge? It's like fifteen know? twenty bucks, depending yeah. on what the bottles okay. are that they yeah. do the blind. Shipping on. is a lot cheaper if you. Yes, pirate ship. You are correct, Candy. Um, I looked into that, so good call on that. I may, I may uh, uh, get with pirate ship and do that um, because it ends, it ends up being like I don't know, eight dollars versus like fourteen dollars. Now I'm gonna have to go into Agent Or and get one of those little packs. Oh to yeah, have you seen me. those Agent mm -hmm. Ors? Yeah, oh, they're nice. So they yeah. have the one where you can fly, and now did you see the other one where you can buy the three bottles so you can take them with you? Yeah, those are nice. I'm gonna have to get one. My okay. birthday's coming up, Charlie. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Mine is too eventually. <laughs> well, mine's this month. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, All right. well we, we didn't are... talk about sports too much, but yeah, I don't know that we need to. Well, we already said who the who the championship or who the person won. And then UConn is UConn. Yeah, in Texas, or I mean sorry, Kentucky lost their coach. Yeah. In the men's is. world. And then South Carolina dominated. South Carolina. They and didn't UConn. dominate. I mean they're hard to undefeated like, for the year. That's I, I just mean the game. They, oh, the game. Yeah. The game. Yeah. Um the yeah. both both final four games. Well, not both. The, the South Carolina Final Four game was not close. The second half got boring. Yeah. Um, but Iowa... Go Chiefs. Uh, go Chiefs. We're in the wrong what? part of the year. Steelers, baby. How are you an Ohio <laughs> kid rooting for the Chiefs? Can we? Can we? Chieftains. Oh, so Logan Chieftains. Our high school. <laughs> That's fair. How would I know? Well, I just told you. Now you do. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but I did think you were talking about the NFL and Travis Kelsey um, or Patrick Mahomes or whomever. Anyhow, the women's, we read earlier, uh, uh, Phil and I read earlier that um, <laughs> the women's game was like 24.7 million viewers the last 15 minutes right. of Iowa versus... You, was it you, UConn? Uh, South Carolina. Well, no, no, no. The, the Final Four game. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. 
Whereas, and that's the final 15 minutes of a final four game. Whereas the men's final was in the 14 or 15. 14, 14. So now it outdrew. Oh, yeah, almost that's, double. That's double. great. Yeah. 14.8 to 24.8. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh. crazy. How was, I like Rise. How was no one else? Because people are done. Tracy, why are you texting instead of commenting? If you're talking about Rise, we talked about it last week about the little Rise show. Yeah, you would have to probably. Uh, oh my God, Dandy! What do you say? Charlie <laughs> wants to hear about no, I don't. Taylor's <laughs> football's over, man. Don't get me all started about that shit. And, well, next it. week, uh, Gandy. Just so you know, next week <clears throat> is uh, next Thursday at the man, brewery. Not... <clears throat> Weller? No. Mm -mm. Must be you. No, shut up upper lip sure. um so he's, he's next dog. week at the brewery next thursday not this thursday this no, thursday is the office trivia but we're gonna do taylor swift why because the next day is the tortured poets department or whatever um release for taylor swift so her new album's coming out is that your belly what the hell was that noise no it's the french sure it is we'll go with that it's the french good god <laughs> all right let's get out of here <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what, Christine? You gave us something to think about. Uh, let me think. Let, let us think more about this. I think the best way to do it is maybe uh, like a $20 or whatever. We'll figure out the cost. I just don't want to freaking lose money on it, but I don't want to make money on it either. But that's a great idea. Um, oh, Weller's great, by the way. The green Weller. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of the red Weller. Oh, yeah, I am. You really? 107? Yes. It's yes. too rye. Me. I don't like. I don't like there's either. No, there's no right in it. It's wheat. Because you brought it it's out. Too hot. Then it's too proofy. Was it something. the green that you too brought spicy. out, and then one that had been opened, and one that had just been opened? Yeah. And we never felt that we could tell the difference. <clears throat> you like that? I do. I'm not a fan of Weller. Um, just not my thing. Watch I do. My dog, watch my dog's ears go up. Well, I like him because uh, I don't have to clean up. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta take it's, it off. It's a He's weeded, still much, it's a weeded very much a puppy. Oh, <coughs> I don't like it. So it's too um, pungent. Charlie's using big words today. Yeah, Although, so if you take uh, that and yeah, the green is great. Yeah. So the red, show her the red. That's the red Weller. It's a one hundred and seven. Uh, obviously, it states one hundred and seven. That's the proof. It's the antique. Uh, it right, is, it's called the antique. Yes. Weller? Um, it's obviously drinks hotter. I can see why you like the green as a um starter. Um, uh, but quite frankly, I've been in this for a while and I still love the green. How, um, how, I don't like the red. How much do we want to talk about rumors? Rumors, let's do oh, it. Oh, about the allocation part. Supposedly, Weller Antique is going to be going away, yeah, and it's going to be relabeled or rebranded into something else. Um, <laughs> Not sure what that's going to well, be yet, do but that on that. I don't she can't. She can't figure out how to chat. Sorry, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. But but supposedly, rumor is that the Waller Antique is going to become something else, kind of like Stag Junior. Up here became Stag. Um, be that'd be a bad marketing move. Mm, uh, yeah, because I still don't like the fact that they got rid of Junior. Right. Waller has several different. Right. They got the colored four, labels. They have, they got, they have five. They have, proof, 12 year, they've got the CYPB and, and a single, the single barrel. barrel. Which for me, which is weird, the higher you go in price on the Weller, I do not like. Weller 12 is the best. Ugh, that's too oaky for me. Really? What's that's that's we, we had dark green. Julian. We uh, had that in our first, very first blind. It didn't get out of the first round, dude. Everybody did not like it. Hmm. It was weird. Like no one liked it. That's what uh, Julian. Carries around. That's what Don't be got. disrespecting. Hey, it's Bob. My green hey, Bob. <laughs> hey, it's Bob. <laughs> we're not disrespect. It's just not my thing. Yeah. Um, you were here for that though, Bob. When we when Charlie tried to fool us, and he did an open bottle. Well, that it didn't been work. A, we it, couldn't tell. Yeah, me. We didn't like either one. <laughs> yeah. No, but well, we Bob, Bob, the difference. Bob probably did. It was we yeah. They the were difference. they were very close. It's your label. Oh, it doesn't matter now. Don't say bye. Um, doesn't matter now. Uh, but. I, I'm just not a Weller fan. Just like I'm not a Blanton's fan. I don't yeah. think it lives. No, to I'm not a Blanton's fan either. Yeah, I'd I mean, use that in a, as an old fashioned. I just mix it because I don't care for it. You know, I mean, my favorites are Penelope, 
Boone County, mm. okay. Magnolia. Uh, you don't have to spend a, a pant load to get a good bottle you, of bourbon. You don't. Yeah. You don't. Um, and that's the one thing. Like, I will tell you, um, I've had a couple of friends uh, tr want the 107. They live yeah. in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. had a couple of friends who even wanted the green. Um, now, I will tell you that Charlie charged me what he paid. For well, a, of course, I can't yeah, lose money. No, no, I, and I don't expect you to. Yeah, but it ain't antique. Um, so for bucks. the antique, I paid a hundred bucks for him. Yeah. But then another friend sold me one for fifty. Well, and I'm and like, dude, fifteen, fifty. Well, oh. yeah. If you but can, I think he got that's what he got it for. Yeah, if you can get it at the store on the, on the allocated day, yeah, it's forty nine ninety nine. And I, I think that's what happened. Yeah. Um, and then green, I can get for like twenty five bucks. Yeah. And uh, but in other like, states, you can't because Ohio caps. Right, but green has almost become a shelfer. Yes. Yeah. Really, anymore. Yeah. You know, else has become a shelfer is McKenna. I, I see that everywhere. McKenna. Oh, but we yeah. miss you too, in Bob. Kentucky, in Kentucky, it's everywhere. Really? I don't know McKenna. There. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Bob, I know you just now tuned in, and that's you know pretty much Bob like. Um, Bob's been busy. He's got things going on. I understand. I'm just teasing. Don't call him Bob like. <laughs> I'm just teasing. So we we tried this, dude. When you come back, we gotta give you a sip of this. Um, I'll bring it to work tomorrow. <laughs> Buckner's 13 year. Uh, it's excellent. I'm actually not coming uh, we did a um, episode that released on Thursday of the four most popular new riff uh, blinds, or we blinded them. That comes out on Thursday. Um, a little bit. There's a couple surprises in there as far as how, yeah. how it finished. Um, we put the new riff, uh, Silver Grove, Small Batch, and Single Barrel up together. I don't see your thumbs up, Tracy. Keep going. <coughs> <clears throat> with the eight year yeah so uh we did that and then um what else did we do tonight oh the uh Liza craig barrel proof one with an asterisk just because it's it's a it's a shelf it's an allocated right but you're so, not gonna go if you can get that that's great it's great you but know what's a great you're substitute? not gonna go i mean the second place winner is so good it yes. doesn't matter so people who don't know this um if you want a substitute that's out there for Eliza Craig Barrel Proof, it's the same exact recipe, same exact uh, mass bill. I've mentioned this before. The Nashville Barrel Barrel Strength. Yeah. Uh, it's Charlie's gone through about four Here, bottles that of that already. <laughs> oh, it's so effing good. Um, yeah, it's almost, yeah. This is Eliza Craig Barrel Proof. Um, and I'm not saying because it tastes like it is. It is. It's exactly is it. How they can do it, uh, they just do it. Um, and um, what's that going to run you like $75 at the liquor store? Um, but you can get this at the liquor store, but this is the same exact uh mash bill as Elijah Craig Barrel Group, even the distiller said so. He he mentally said it mm -hmm. without saying it, he could not say it because of uh um contractual reasons. But he gave us the mash bill, he said, Just Google it, and you forgot what it is. So, um, this is just well, we're not going to be distilling it, so no, so I don't really care to say it. <laughs> so, this is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Um, Can you guys see that? And it's seventy five dollars. Um, Nashville Barrel Company Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Yeah, get the barrels, get the cast strength. Cast strength, aged six years. Yeah, that is that's Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is what it is. So it's a younger mm -hmm. uh, Elijah Craig because Elijah Craig usually is like anywhere from like eight to twelve years. Right. But Charlie will drink this every night. <clears throat> oh, that's that is, how good it is. That is very good. So uh, and if you can't find your Wellers or your Buffalo Traces, go to your benchmarks. Yeah, it's just they're both all distilled at Buffalo Trace, and your benchmark eight is Buffalo Trace. Uh, was it? Uh, uh, now there's a list of uh, the different benchmarks. That yeah, you, you, the got, you got full proof, you got yeah. top shelf, single barrel, <laughs> right. all that stuff, small batch, all that stuff. Right. So those, and those that's are Buffalo basically, Trace. yeah, those are basically your well. The only Buffalo Trace product I would say stay away from is Travelers. Oof. That is uh, freaking hot it's garbage. It's not bad, but it it's is. just that is hot garbage. It's, it's, it's different. It's not uh, Field of Dreams garbage. <laughs> it's not garbage that way. Yeah, I mean it's not bad. <laughs> it's this not is, Jeff this is hot garbage. <laughs> it is not good. This is absolutely hot, and I, and I hot hate garbage. it because I love Chris Stapleton, which he's freaking sober, by the way. I know. And yeah. so here's the thing: if hot you garbage. are a celebrity, which none of no one watching is a celebrity. Oh. I mean, they are in their own right. Here's the benchmark. But if yeah, you are that. a celebrity, please taste the bourbon you're going to put out. He said he did. Well, he lied because he's sober. Those range from like 17 to 20 bucks. Yeah, it's, like, it's like 20 bucks. There you, you go. go. Great, great Buffalo Trace. And 
That's a good mixer. Because 17 to 20 bucks. Well, go with high proof, but Bullet's the best mixer, I think. Yeah. yeah. I use just the basic Elijah Craig, too. Yeah, I got I got Blanton's, but bleh. Yeah. Blanton's garbage. Um, Not garbage, but... Christine, good. we'll do a we'll do a tasting. You guys, uh, I'll come home and we'll do a tasting. I'll bring some stuff home. Yeah. So, um, if Tracy ever comes back to Ohio. But, uh... Okay. Well... I think that's all that. That's all I got nothing got. else. You got? You guys got any more questions? Anything else you want to say? But don't text me. Well, there you go. <laughs> Never mind. Hold on. What's she saying? What benchmarks? Benchmarks. Yeah, we have benchmarks. Yeah, there's, there's. That's a. That's a. It's a bourbon. It's, it's like a, an everyday bourbon. It's a buffalo. It's a buffalo trace product. Yeah. That's the foolproof. They have a benchmark eight, which is their base, basically, which is your buffalo trace. Yeah. You should be able to find that anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And These it's are, like twenty bucks. Yeah. But honestly, the best twenty bucks call Lisa. is um, <laughs> shit. We're out. I, I need to buy another one. What do you need? Um, early times. Bottle early times. Oh yeah, that's usually what we. Early start. times. I'm out of it. I drink. We drink it all. Early times are Rebel One Hundred. Bob loves Bubble Rebel. Don't get yeah. him started on Rebel One Hundred. Oh my gosh. Are you drunk? Nineteen ninety nine for a bottle. Rebel One Hundred. Rebel One Hundred. We can't mm. get that in Logan. Where? What? Any of that? You can't get any of that, in Logan. Why are you texting me and not just sending that on there? Because I'm watching that easier. Um, but what can't you get, in Logan? Because if you can't, I will pick you up a bottle and bring it home. If you're talking about Benchmark, if you're talking about Buffalo Trace, get New Riff. Uh, if you're new, new Riff. To this. New Riff. New Riff is good. Um, <clears throat> I really like New Riff, especially that eight year. Oh, so good! But that's only in the gift shops. Well, I'm just saying. You can get it online. There's but I didn't wrong. hate any of. Them. I didn't like the Silver, Silver Grove. Silver Grove was not. Nice. Um, so text me if nothing else. And if you can't get what you just did, if you can't get it, um, that's an easy one to get. So yeah. Tracy can get it in New Jersey. Yes. Um, but if you can't get it in Logan, let me know. And, uh, I can get it from him. Probably. I'm gonna <laughs> Listen, you about elbowed me three times last episode. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, Char Charlie's done. He's, he's going to call it a night. I'm done. I'm tired. I think you guys are tired, too. I'm not, but I don't have to come to work anymore. The hell you don't? I have to work. I'm not coming to work. There's a difference. What are you talking about? It's my work from home day. You got... I'm coming in at one for the detention. Easy. Right? Easy. They don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they do. Everybody there knows what I do for a living. I am not the other whatever people are going to watch this later. Three? Other people are going <laughs> to watch it later. Anyways. All right. That's all we got. They don't know what that even means. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, we're going to be back on tomorrow or next Monday at 8 o'clock. And then it, we're doing a 10 o'clock, but you guys won't see that. You won't see that till Thursday, but we're doing that Baker drinks. Uh, we're going to do a blank. So, other than that, uh, that's all we got. Oh, be sure to subscribe. Please like. And uh, uh, if we get to 1,000 yes. subscribers, that would be wonderful. Like and subscribe. Yes. Peace, love, and bourbon. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. See you guys. Cheers. Bye.